everyone, it is raining. It is Monday, looking for loads today. A couple good ones out of Florida and I just happened to pick up Uber Freight for a second and load that they were pushing for, uh, what, 280? A 60 mile load um, was up to 500. So I said, hey, I'll take that. So I ran up there, got it. Ran on the way back down and picked up an oil filter. There she is. And I went back to Walmart to change it. 170 worth of oil. And I had to get the filter from Cummins. It was $56, it was $60 and change with tax. So that's a little high. You can get them for about $31 if you order them ahead of time, but I ran out, so that was it. But oil's changed, it was 8,000 mile interval. Um, I had this little ticky tick thing going with my oil pressure after the oil pressure sensor was changed still. So I'll show you that in the video, but that's all good to go now. So we are clean oil, all that fresh start lube stuff's out of there and rocking and rolling. I'm gonna go grab some chips and salsa, pop us some beer over here. And uh, my delivery is at six o'clock tonight. So I'll be home again tonight. So sometimes Uber has some good loads, but not very often. All right, stay safe out there guys. God bless. All right, all right. So with all that special startup lube and everything on, uh, the new engine assembly, you want to do an oil change at 8,000 miles as uh, suggested by Hey Guy and Jerry. So I just did that. It was raining outside, so I got a little wet. But um, one thing I noticed is even with my oil pressure sensor being replaced, because I thought it, it did go bad, it had a little uh, short in it. It started working a little bit at the end, but the oil pressure would kind of fluctuate. It would just bounce around a little bit and uh, even at idle. So I knew, I thought. Uh, it was just to do with all the lubes I've been in there, but a lot of people said these filters get clogged up. So now it is responding way better with the fresh oil and the fresh new filter. Had a little bit more for the filter at Cummins, but hey, that's what you gotta do. I was out, I didn't have any more. Um, I buy a pack of six and they're about $31 a piece, but um, changed it right here at Walmart like I normally do. Thank you, Walmart. And they have a uh, recycle tub right over there so you can go ahead and pour your old oil in there and throw away your trash and leave no uh, imprint on the environment so uh this poor guy though came in with a bunch of uh flat tires hope we can get to him all righty but that's my oil change 8,000 miles and she is purring again let's go for another 15.